quick update from us. We are just currently checking out of our hotel in our Nang. How are you feeling about it? I'm just ready for the next adventure. Um, and we're off. Going to meet your parents. Yeah, we're off to Cow Sock today. Oh god, I feel like we're, I feel very sleepy still. We've got two more nights in Cow Sock, one in Phuket. I know, I feel there. like it's, I'm excited for the next part, but I'm also it's conscious go now that it's like three days until we go home. I know. Three days? Mm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You've literally got three days, yeah. I know. Three, four days. Mm. The sun is shining and we will make the most of it. Oh, the cow's back. The cow is back. Can you see him? Oh, yeah. Do you know yesterday he got... Farmer Giles was looking after him yesterday, wasn't No, but yesterday he got taken away with a rope and I thought, oh my goodness, like, has he been taken yeah, no, away to be killed? They just take him for walks. Do they? Yeah, no, what? yeah. What do they do with the cows, do you reckon? They're just like, do, they like milking the same cows? Same as dogs. Or? Oh. No, no, they just take him for walks. Oh, he's back. Oh, that has made me so happy. Wait, 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 let me talk to you. No, no! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> what does that mean? Hello, how are you? Are you actually okay? I think we better go. <laughs> Alright, come on, check it out. We'll see you in Cal Sock. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so at long last, we have finally arrived to Cal Sock. Thoughts, opinions, first impressions? I'm impressed, man. How much have we paid for this? £90 for two nights. So £45 per night. So, right, let's just give you the lowdown on Cow Sock really quickly. So, Cow Sock is like a national park. It's more for, I'd say, like the adventurous people. People that like exploring, a bit of wildlife, mm. um, activities. But it honestly looks beautiful and when we was obviously exploring like what to do in thailand everyone said do not miss cow sock you see people like review it they always say it's like 10 out of 10. Yeah. i mean i guess it depends what you like if you're someone that just likes to be by the beach and pool and that's a bit more of a luxurious side to your holiday maybe you wouldn't like mm. it um but we like exploring we like mutual mm. we like doing different things I and feel obviously like... we're meeting up with your parents as well yeah and and they're I... very adventurous and i feel like this will be such a different experience as well yeah. doing all these things so um you do have the option to stay in a bungalow at cow sock and be on the lake and they are really cheap some of them are more expensive but i feel like you don't have wi-fi you're kind of disconnected from the world yeah you, i don't think you have electricity either or at least not all the time um, and also, I've had a and lot. And the communal showers. Yeah, communal showers. I feel like so, there were more expensive ones. Remember when I saw some? They were ridiculous. But they were really expensive. They were like two, three hundred pound a night. Yeah. So, so me and Mitchell just decided not to do the bungalow experience, even though obviously they would be beautiful over the lake and stuff. But also, I read like the bugs and the yeah. like um, insects and animals and things. Like, I don't think we would have liked We've that either. Bugs yeah. I mean, I've been bit to death already. So anyway, we come across this place which is called Good View Resort. It's a family-run business. He was just saying he only has two family rooms and three like what they three deluxe rooms yeah. and then two family sized rooms so it is a very very small complex first impressions like i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting to be really run down because i knew out of everywhere we're staying this is probably going to be the most like not shabbiest that's not like the right mm. word but, but you know what i mean it's not, not, not it's not, not luxurious yeah. but yeah first impressions coming in um the place itself is so clean so beautiful you just saw on the walkway um that i feel like just coming into the resort like it's, it's actually so nice there's a little pool anyway i was just coming on just to actually show you just a little mini room tour um just in case you don't want to stay in a bungalow if you want to do a cow sock really really recommend this place anyway let's come in front door so these are like little bungalows aren't they um here is the bathroom oh we got a little bit dark let me just turn is that the light oh that is the light so it is very basic guys but it's really clean so that's one thing sink that's the shower but honestly if you saw the little bungalows at cow suck on the lakes them smiley bungalows i swear they're even classed as hostels you know there was nothing like this <laughs> no, like this is so much more luxurious compared to those and um, then we just have a double bed even got a tv and that's another thing with the cow suck bungalows like people were saying do you know at night 
There's, there's nothing to do. It's got a little fridge which is stocked up. Um, I think there was a little tab price for that, but again, it's so cheap because it just charges you basically what you get it in the supermarket for. Got some free water. Um, it's nice and spacious. And then if we're going to here, I need to be. How do I open this, babe? You don't. No. If I go on to here, I'll show you the view, which is insane. But again, we need to make sure we're closing these doors. He also said to make sure you always close them because of some monkeys. How insane is this? Wow. My mum and dad's room is there. Obviously, they're not here yet. I also got a hot water maker for tea and coffee. How cute is that? That is nice. Um, these chairs look so comfortable, but yeah, don't know how much time I'll be spending out here just because I don't want to get bit. But look at that view. We're literally in the jungle. It's beautiful. Here they are. <laughs> We have got to Cow Fuck now. Met my mum and dad. Hello. 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 Nice to see you here. And we've just come into the centre of Cow Fuck. I didn't really think there'd be much going on, but actually, they have a hundred bar cocktails. And me and mum are on the mango daiquiris. Dad's got a small. I'm on a small one because small one. I'm a lightweight. And if I have, I've had one already, a big one already, and it can't be another big one. Well, we've got a jungle safari tonight. Which <laughs> was obviously got a large one, and we just all ordered burgers. It's really nice here, this little place is. It's vibe, isn't it? Yeah. It is for cow sock. I thought it'd be really quiet. I didn't think there would be anything around. Oh, look, there's a swimming pool just to abuse. Right, right. Really nice. And there's the, I'm, a, I'm a celebrity waterfall over there. <laughs> That's for the last challenge of the day. Burger's just come out. I've gone for a Take double a in the jungle. cheeseburger. Oh, no, 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 no. Take it away, no. Which burger. for you? How's your burger? Lippin' lovely. Yeah, yeah, enjoying it? Yeah. I don't know I'm going to fit that in my mouth. It's literally a bit... Oh, it looks juicy as well, doesn't it? I can't even think I can show it. <laughs> First eating challenge. Done it all. And guess what? We all won. <laughs> Four winners, look. Four stars. Four stars, we can. <laughs> Which of the grubs all come? Cockroach is all gone. <laughs> Fish eye all gone. <laughs> what you got? Man? Last but not least, roasted scorpions all gone. <laughs> so four stars for the camp you tonight. Need that one. They'll be eating well tonight. <laughs> is that anything? <laughs> is that my challenge? <laughs> I don't want to eat shit. I just want burgers and nice food. We're not really eating shit. Just a little mm. bit of recreation. Yeah, we, need, we need a break. Ten minutes. Mm. Right, we've just, we just done the next challenge. What? Done the trials you, today. Your dad put his balls on the table and I hit him with the water. <laughs> 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 Very painful. Now we're hurting us. Who's who? No one there. Anyone. Don't look at the balls on the table. How do you feel about losing? I bet, the, I bet the fish eyes. Mitchell doesn't like losing. Oh, no, no. It's not really nice losing. It's, uh, it's not competitive. <laughs> we're, on holiday. We're, on holiday. <laughs> we're, we're in the jungle. We're in the jungle playing pool. Are you going to win next time? Is that a warm up? <laughs> Right, I've got a good idea. Yeah, go ahead. Right, then. what we'll do, <laughs> Laura, you get on my shoulders and we'll get some fills and we'll oh, have fights. No. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll have a little fight first one to four. Okay. Yeah? Karen, get on my shoulder. <laughs> Three. Flipping that, <laughs> come on, Mitchell. Um, dinner is served. <laughs> Taste test. Taste test. Go on, then. Good. 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 Evening guys, it's night one in Cow Sock. 
we met with my parents today as you saw just had a really nice chill day actually since we've got here which has been nice because we didn't want to like jump into the activity straight away it was nice just to catch up with my mum and dad um so what did we do we got here we got here we got here we had a beer we had a chill then we got dropped off by the owner Oh my god, the it. owner, let's just say how nice the owner He's is. He's unreal. He is so we, we've good. We've read so many reviews about the hotel saying, oh, they're such a good family run business. And honestly, they do anything for you. He literally, like, we were talking about walking to Cow Sock and just explore it. Like I mean, just, to see, just to see what was in Cow Sock. Mm. Um, obviously, there isn't a lot because you are in the middle of nowhere. But they do have a huge restaurants as one it's like a bar in a restaurant it actually has like a club or something later on so i feel like that would probably be a little bit more livelier not that we're here for lively because it's not that kind of place at all um, but anyway yeah he was like no no i'll drop you off for free mm. so he dropped us into cow so it was only like five ten minutes in the um car was in it went for a real nice burger it was amazing wasn't it and they had 99 bar or was it 100 bar cocktails, cocktails. so cheap table tennis table tennis, table tennis. Went to a ping pong show. Yeah, <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, and then, yeah, we literally just got back, changed into our swimsuits, went in the pool, and had some good fun in the pool. Then it's coming freshened up. I am literally ready for tonight. The mosquitoes are not getting me, guys. I've got full, like, I'm absolutely baking. It's way too humid to be even wearing this, but. We need to hurry up. Oh, here they are. The Here's the people. Trekking, Come on in. Uh, anyway, fully prepared. Here's my mum. Yeah. We're going out on our jungle safari tonight. Night jungle trek. Jungle trek for two hours. Mitchell's all prepared. Like I say, I am not taking any chances. I've got full length leggings on, full length top on. I've even got books for underneath it. But I don't want to get bit. Anyway, ciao, bye. Babe. Babe, I think your dad's scared. <laughs> no. Kaz is getting naked. Piggyback! Come on. Piggyback! Babe, I've done it, did you? No. No, it tells us the easy way. I've got my feet. These are my best trainers. Your trainers won't get shit on. They're wet. Yeah, they'll dry out, you don't know. Come on, Phil, don't bottle it! Well, you could have told us that before. We have to go back across. Wimps. We're at breakfast. Banana pancake. Look at this. We've got fruit as well. Is that one? This is all in with the bars. So good. This is so fresh and nice. You know, it's yummy. Before, like that. Yep. 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 Y
bomb. Dad, come on, do a bomb. Do a bomb. Yeah, it's no, it's nice. Whoa. Go. Stop being a pussy. Come on. Is it, is it deep? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, we can touch the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're currently on. What lake is this called? We've had a morning of exploring and now we are on little rubber ring things in the lake. It's so warm, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I can't see what I'm doing because it's so sunny. Um, but yeah, this is the life. You need life jackets on the lake. You're not allowed yeah. to come in without life jackets, are you? I thought I want to go for a few lengths, but... You can't swim in it, can you? Okay. You look like you're struggling over here. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, the most funniest thing just happened. So, me and Mitchell have just got a kayak. There's not many of them available, which is <gasps> rubbish. Do not, you have to keep it so balanced. Um, yeah, there's not many available. So, basically, we've had a morning on the boat just like exploring around just everywhere on the lake then we've been caving then we went did like a little trek through the jungle and then you come back for lunch at this place um, where there's some floating bungalows and you can either do like kayaking there's also like these rubber rings you can just go for a swim but there's not that many kayaks around is there because we're not moving i know there's not many kayaks available we just saw one available but i'm not sure if it's drivable because he was saying something about if there's a hole in it it could fill up and sink i don't know let's not go too far out babe it could be dangerous um but anyway we've just jumped on it because there's no one around jumped on it and i started panicking because i was like oh my god where's my phone didn't realize it was around my neck and whenever i panic mitchell panics and he panicked that much he made the boat tip up and we fell in the <laughs> Don't. No, babe, we're going to the ocean. <laughs> Don't. Because we're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Don't go too far away. So, yeah, I was trying not to get my hair wet. And then all of a sudden, Mitchell kicked the boat up. And we were... <laughs> Everyone was laughing. Everyone around us was laughing. It was like dumb and dumb again on the boat. Um, but, yeah, they're dangerous little things, aren't they? You've got to keep them so um, balanced. Yeah, how come there's two people over there exploring that we're just here? Well, you go over there then, but I, I, I trust you to get back in one piece. I, I, I don't know. Do you want me to try? I don't know how to use it. Okay. <laughs> you went the wrong way. You fucking want the paddles going that way, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got it now. Oh, yeah, stop leaning though. You absolute spanner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never really doing this. Oh. See ya. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Let's see if they um, make it. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Sorry, the darkness and lightness might go in and out. Uh, it is. What even a day is it? I feel like I'm so lost track with days. It is it's Tuesday evening. Well, yeah, you're gonna have to bear with this phase. It's like a 10 minute makeup. Obviously, it's like wild camping, but in a bungalow, but very basic. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's. We could basically class this camping. We could basically class this camping, couldn't we? Like, there's no mirrors. There's like one mirror in the bathroom. You can't see. There's nowhere to do my hair. But it's not about that. It's about the experience. Taking pot that counts. But I did just want to spruce myself up tonight because I just felt you do look a little beautiful. bit. Uh, you do, you do your makeup better in the dark. <laughs> Shut up. I feel like you put too much on when you see Shut the light. Shut up. Um, anyway, we had a really nice day at Cow Sock Lake National Park today. It's been quite hectic though, hasn't it? It's standard. Um, I feel like day trips always are. You get picked up and then you're waiting around. It's like an hour drive. Um, what did we do? We just kind of went on the lake for like an hour, stopped off at a cave, um, and then we stopped off for dinner. Then what else did we do? Oh, and I feel like the most enjoyable part was probably when we um, went into the lake. Do you think, Mitchell? Kayaking, yeah. Kayaking, that was fun. And um, just going for a swim. 
yeah but anyway we're ready for dinner tonight i think we're going to go into cow site itself there's actually a few restaurants and bars that look really nice hoping i don't get fed up too much i put some bug spray on but it never seems to work for me um and yeah that's about it how do you manage to even do your hair and makeup why? Like, or just don't get where you do it. It's so dark in there. Well, you would see our last place was dark in was there. Was it? Well, yeah. I had to do. Right. Have we told him we were going down, Mitchell? There was. They told him. Get back to work. Rainforest kitchen. That looks nice. Music. Crickets. Coffee bear. Oh. We like the kiddies, we like the kiddies. I think you get looked after, don't you? I want, thank you. I want, thank you. I want, thank you. Thank you. I feel like it's been a while since I checked into the vlog to be honest with you. It's been a hectic few days in um, Cal Sock, but we have just arrived to our last hotel. I can't believe we are at the last stop of the holiday, guys. It has gone so fast. But yeah, we've just checked into the final hotel of our Thailand trip, and it is called Proud Phuket. So this is that. Oh my god, I've just googled what the beach is called as well. It's actually supposed to be such a nice area. It's basically an area right next to the airport obviously because we're flying tomorrow morning we might to be close to the airport yeah Neyang beach area it's supposed to be so nice um i've looked on tiktok and they actually have so many tiktoks of the planes flying right over low on the beach it looks really good um quite a few bars restaurants in this area it's nice isn't yeah it? i think it's supposed to actually be a nice area i know it's like an, an airport area mm. but considering it is a lot of people do actually recommend this area this it. hotel again was so cheap it was like 45 pound a night i'm gonna say but yeah first impressions if i just take you into the reception it looks very grand quite posh considering it's a 45 pound night hotel don't get that in england 45 pound um got a lot of nice gardening areas and i believe the pool is over here oh there's a cute swing there let's go and have a little look so there's the massage area there i mean i don't know if i'm supposed to be cutting across the grass yeah and then this is the pool oh the pool area looks really nice so yeah mum and dad are gonna have one of these rooms i believe oh i love the pool and then yeah this is the pool area which stretches all the way around there as well can't check into free so i feel like we'll probably just go down to Neyang beach and have a look around there obviously it's the last day so we want to get out and mooch see this area as well um have a nice iced coffee go out for dinner later just gonna try and make the most of our last day i think mitchell's been learning Thai. nice to have some luxury compared to the last two hotels i was just saying like kosak obviously it's beautiful really really recommend it but you're never going to get luxury in kosak oh thank you thank you oh that's nice and refreshing as well Oh, um, yeah, so Kalsok, you're never going to get luxury, so please do not go to Kalsok and think you're going to get a five-star hotel. Like It was amazing. You're just not. But, oh, it was so good. Here's Dad. Mom. Hello. You, you've not really been on the vlog much, yeah, have you? Uh -huh. Do you want to pick it up and just have a little chat? Well, you know, um, my time's very precious when I'm on holiday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 Pool, pool, is a pool down there? Three yeah, days to go well for nice. us. Last day for you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, Steamy okay. here. Oh, thank you. Mum nearly got put in prison for walking on the grass, didn't you, Mum? Yeah. Just got told off, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Do not walk on the grass. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. That sea is flat. Mmm. <laughs> got iced coffees dad's tried his is this your first iced coffee dad I think so yeah <laughs> what yeah, have you not had an iced coffee in your life dad no life. you have lived shelter yeah let me take a sip 
stop in that few more ones. Yeah. Oh, that much really oh yeah. Oof, very hot today. Definitely think the um, weather is hotter down here, don't you? The face is burning up. My opinion is really nice. It's refreshing. It's cold. Unbelievable, isn't it? Ice latte. Oh, cold. it's so nice. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's really nice. I'm not having a bleed. Did you have syrup in it? I'm not, yeah, I put some in. I'm not having a hot coffee here. It's too thick and hot. <laughs> you sweat sometimes when you're having coffee. Food. Okay. You're always hungry. I don't know what's wrong with you. I fried egg on toast. Yeah, not at eight o'clock. Yeah, it's now twelve. Yeah, fair enough. But you're not eating that. Twelve is normally his lunchtime back at home. Yeah, so you're he's itching. You ain't even started work at twelve. <laughs> yeah. If you're not hungry, you too. You just sit and watch us eat some food. Beautiful settings. Yeah. Nayang Beach. So nice down here. Yeah. Honestly, people say Phuket isn't the one. I think they're going to the wrong place. Because ah, I, I think you've got to pick and choose, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to, you've got to do your trip research and choose. It's okay. Beautiful. Gone for a tuna salad today, the first salad of the holiday. But I have requested a side of fries because it's all about moderation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Salad, what fries. What a hypocrite you are. <laughs> 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 doesn't fill you up, does it? Right, we're standing at the end of the runway at Phuket Airport, on the beach, obviously. We've just seen a couple of planes come in. Wow, they go really low and they are really noisy, aren't they? Uh, yeah, but we've now got a lot of about 20 minutes before the next one comes in, which is a bit frustrating, being as though before that they seem to be coming in every five minutes. There you go, hey ho, so I'll just have to sit on the beach waiting for this smoke to eat. What plane was you looking for in particular? I was looking for an Airbus A380, <laughs> but I can't see any coming in just yet. Probably later on. I don't even spot, know if any flying to move there actually. There might not, because it needs a certain length and width of runway for the Airbus A380. <laughs> Anything you've got to say, Chief? No. Plane spotter? I'm just wish I'd seen the Airbus as well. <laughs> Okay guys, we are on to the last room tour of the holiday. I feel like it looks a bit dark actually on here. Can I get the brightness up a little bit? Let me stand over here. So we are at Proud Phuket Hotel, which is literally like 10 minutes to the airport before we stayed obviously close to the airport because it's our last day, we're going home tomorrow. Um, and yeah, this area is called Niang Beach. Niang beach honestly it's such a nice area Phuket like people really slag Phuket off but from what we've seen we've obviously stayed in different areas to Patong Beach so we really really enjoyed it and we've been down on the beach and everything this morning it's so nice so yeah this is our hotel it costs us £45 a night so again another I guess you'd say budget hotel really um but it's so beautiful definitely one of the nicer ones I think we've actually stayed in isn't it and um, so yeah, I mean I did request for double beds, but we just we can push them together or we can have a break from each other, whatever break. we think. Um but yeah, it's really nice, modern, clean. I mean the highlight for me is definitely this bath. I've not seen a bath all holiday. To be honest with you, I feel like it's been a little bit too hot for a bath, so I've not really missed it too much, but always appreciated. We've got robes, which I think is always a good sign of a nice hotel. Little mini fridge. Should we have a little fridge tour? What's in the fridge? Two waters, um, tea and coffee station, also got a lovely mirror, which is always appreciated. You guys know how much I appreciate a nice mirror. And this is just obviously like the bathroom area with a toilet in here. And then also a nice rainfall shower in there. Yeah, um, so yeah, really, really recommend it. Like I said, we only paid £45. My mum and dad are staying here for a couple of nights longer because they flew out later than us and they've actually had a swim up room. This is the view from the balcony. If you're like mum and dad are just there, look how nice this hotel is. It's honestly beautiful. I'm not using this for an airport hotel. Like I'd say when you first come to Phuket, if you've got like a late flight or something and you just want to stay, I don't know, like not too much of a drive from the airport, I'd really recommend maybe doing a night here. It's Wednesday evening. It's her last night for Laura. What a shame. She's had a great two weeks. We've had a great 10 days, haven't we, Karen? Yeah done loads of things not as much as them too but it's been brilliant really good 
and uh, definitely, well definitely, hopefully, touch wood, in the future we'll be back sometime because yeah. it's such a different vibe to Spain, Canaries, it's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever go there again? No, we will do because I like the Canaries, we will do. We've not done much walking here, we like a walking. Dad, it's a year late for me, so I'm not set up a YouTube channel yet. Uh, I need a new phone. I need a new phone, yeah. You want to dream yourself for the But yeah, it's been great. So we're just sitting here waiting waiting for a steaks. Yep. Passing back to the professional YouTuber okay. over here. First we'd have to take over the vlog tonight because do you know what? It's been a long hard stretch vlogging for two weeks. Do you know what? I feel like I've caught the sun today, do I look a bit red? I am. I did put on my sun well, cream. Anyway, as my dad said, last night in Thailand, so we're back. What day did you fly back? Sunday? Oh, some plane just gone out, Laura. <laughs> Dad's hey, loving it here. Professional plane spotter. Took him to. <laughs> anyway, Miley Mitchell's last night. We've had a good holiday. I'm ready to get home because it's Christmas time. Got all my content for Christmas to do. I feel like I'm a bit behind. Can't wait to see my cats. We've got a good life back at home, haven't we? Yeah. Dreading the I don't know why you're dreading the flight, honestly, like, I don't like flying, but I enjoy, it's probably like my favourite flight I've ever done. I'm just so glad we're getting back here. Yeah, I, I hope they've got some Christmas films on, on the thing <laughs> on the way back. <laughs> that would, that would be my perfect flight. Honestly, and they've got the Harry Potter, like, marathon on the plane, you know. We'll I watched number one on the way out here, so I'm going to watch two, three, four and five on the way back. That occupies you the whole time. Honestly, I think it's brilliant. Do you know how people don't like flying? Oh. I love the flying I, nev I never watch a film. Never. You can't watch a film? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, can't. I, can't. I, can't. I cannot Sit concentrate there. on a film. I just can't do it. That's why. You have to watch a film you've already watched, Dad. Yeah. That has to do the Glen 10 Days. I'm too busy looking out the window and seeing what the pilot's are taking. Whether it's got his black But what if it's dark? Yeah, well, if it's dark, I just close my eyes. And yeah, so anyway, for anyone that hates flying, I just feel like when you're on a bigger plane, it's a little bit more luxurious, a bit more room. Oh, I was quite cramped. Oh, I was man. I was man, was it? I was lovely. Was it? First Turkish Airlines flight from Birmingham to Istanbul was brilliant. Better than Ryanair, you know, that much leg room. <laughs> but that's one, Turkish Airlines, because it was Ryanair. I was lovely. It was slightly more than right. And also I feel like there's so much more quiet, so I don't panic as much. I can have my headphones on and watch a film. It's chilled, it's brilliant. For nine and a half hours, sitting in a cramped plane. Yeah, it's tough. That was tough. Upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself. Well, you can get another holiday. You can buy some an upgrade, can't you? We will give you one Okay guys, me again. I just thought I'd quickly jump back on a camera because I'm just currently editing the cow sock vlog and I realised that I didn't actually do an ending. That was the last clip you just saw. So I just thought I'd show my face and tell you that that is it for the Thailand 2023 vlogs. So obviously we're in 2024 now, but Honestly, it's took me that long to get them all edited and uploaded. It's been a while. Um, I don't think I anticipated how long it would actually take me to edit all that, but I was literally filming every day. So the amount of footage I ended up having was way more than I anticipated. I thought, oh, if I just do a little bit every day, like I should have something to do, maybe one vlog. But yeah, there was that much footage in the end that as you have saw, I ended up having to just do um, each place. So kind of like Phuket, PP, Crabby, and then obviously the last one that you've watched just now will have been the cow sock and the last day in Phuket. I feel like to be honest, by the time I got to cow sock and obviously met my parents, I was like so over the vlogging because it's so hard doing my job because there's an element of going on holiday that of course you want to switch off and just not pick up the camera for a couple of weeks just so you can kind of just enjoy yourself and not have any pressure. But then there's another element of wanting to vlog because I want to show you guys what I get up to. And obviously it's always so nice to have it for memories as well. So yeah, I am so glad I did vlog um, because it has been so nice looking back on. But anyway, like I say, I just thought I'd jump back on and sign off the video. Honestly, Thailand was amazing absolutely unreal definitely by far my favorite place i think i've ever been to definitely definitely want to go back already we're thinking about doing the other side of the island next time we go back so maybe flying to bangkok just do a couple of nights there just to experience it um and then go to all the other places where is that place that everyone says is it Kotal? 
think that's supposed to be unreal. Um, let me know actually, if any of you guys have been to the other side of Thailand, let me know your favorite places because yeah, we definitely want to go back. I feel like if we go back, we'd potentially maybe do like three weeks and then stop off at Bali on the way back. So I really want to go there as well. And obviously it's quite, well, it's fairly close. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions about the trip, then do let me know. I can always do like a sit down Q and A with me and Mitchell maybe and answer your questions. Cause I know there has been quite a lot. And I know a few of you have got Thailand booked too, but honestly, you're going to love it. If you have it booked, it's yeah, one of the best holidays I've ever, ever done. So worth the long flight. And yeah, like I said, we definitely want to go again. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.